Willie Halbert, uh, Willie Houghton Halbert. I always like to include my parents' name because to include the both sides of the family or everything that I do. So in my writings of my books, everything has Willie Houghton Halbert. I actually wrote this cookbook four years ago. I have been cooking all of my life. I'm 63 years old, so about 43 years old I have been cooking. I can remember when I was a little tiny girl, probably like six or seven, I would sneak down to the kitchen. My mother and my grandmother, Mama Willie, would be in the kitchen cooking, and they were having so much fun cooking to like, I want to do this. I want to do exactly what they're doing. And they would not even notice I was there, so I would watch them chop the onions, uh, do the celery, make the potato salad, make spaghetti, make lasagna, wherever it was, they were cooking pies, cakes. And I would say, I want to help. And they'd shoo me away. And I would creep back over and I would leave just laughing because they didn't see me standing there. So sometimes they'd be talking about adult topics, but I would be there listening to it and they'd look up and see me and they'd shoo me away and I'd leave laughing. And about an hour later, I would sneak back in and watch them cook. And there is nothing but joy and fond memories of cooking, so I related that to it. And I didn't have to cook. I have 10 brothers and sisters, and so you would think that I was cooking, but I never really cooked until I was a teenager. And then I made oatmeal raisin cookies, and I remember the feeling that I got when I would prepare those cookies and mix everything together and scoop them out, and my brothers and sisters would eat them. They loved them, and they would eat them all up, and I got this warm feeling inside. And I knew then that somehow this was going to play a very important role in my life. Hi, welcome to Woolly's Kitchen. I am so excited. I have the perfect recipe for when you're rushing home from work. It's busy, but you got to put something together. You have friends coming over. The best dish is nachos. Everybody loves them. This is so easy, but when you make it, people will think you have been cooking all day. First, you start with a pound of hamburger and you just fry your hamburger down until it's nice and brown. Okay, I've already started a little bit. So as you can see, it's nice and brown here. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drain it so you get all the oil out because you don't want your dish to be oiled. So I'm gonna take it over here and just drain it all in here. And while that is draining, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to make the sauce. This is two eight ounces of nacho sauce. I just take it, it's already pre-made, you get it from your store. Get it all in there. This is so delicious. Whenever I make this and take it to work, or have friends over, they scrape the bottom of the pot. I put it in a crock pot and just let it cook and marinate. And then this is one eight ounce of salsa. So I take that and I pour it right all in here. Oh, this is so good. And then I take one teaspoon of cilantro. A lot of people don't really care for cilantro a lot, but I'm telling you, just a little bit goes a long way. It gives it that extra little kick, and they'll be wondering, what's in that dip? Get in the fresh herb department at your gro a grocery store, and this is so delicious. And after you've done that, you take your hamburger meat that has been draining. It's all the oil has drained out of it, nice and brown chopped up real fine, and I'm gonna take it and pour it all in there. And I will mix this up. Oh man, look at that. It looks so delicious. Now for the final little kick that is so good. I'm going to take just a little bit of crushed red pepper. You can put a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon depending on your taste, what you think people will enjoy. Mix that up really good. And you're gonna let this nice and simmer a little bit. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little. And then to make sure it tastes good, I am going to take a little taste. 
taster. You always want to taste your food to make sure it tastes just right. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, that is delicious. Just the right kick for me, my family. They don't like it too spicy, just a little kick to it. Mmm, I am ready to serve it up. Watch what happens. Now we're gonna take some nacho chips and we're just gonna put it all around our plate. Just nice and pretty like. Just all around, so when people come, they can just scoop it up, just take a scooper. Now, of course, you can use your spoon and your fork to scoop it up. See how nice and pretty that looks. Okay, if you're like me, you want your children to get their vegetables. So how do you get them to eat it? A good way with a nacho dip, you cut up some spinach, I have spinach here. You can use lettuce, whatever type of veggies you want to use. And I just put them in a bowl. I've chopped it up nice and fine. So then you have some good veggies that is so good for them. And it tastes delicious with the nachos. I've already diced up some tomatoes. And then we have some more salsa sauce here. And you just put it all around. Then you can just chop up some onion. And the way I chop my onions up, use a sharp knife and that will keep you from crying when you're chopping them up. You say, well, how do you keep from crying when you're doing your onions? The key is, is to use a sharp knife or you can actually do it under one running water. So you just chop it up here. And you just take it, you see I crossed it, made lines all the way down to the bottom with the knife and I switched it the opposite direction and then slice it in. And then you slice and you see how it's nice and tiny. That's how you slice the onion. And as you see, I'm not crying. So the key is a nice sharp knife and you can chop all day and you will not cry. You can also do it on the water water. That's the old fashioned way. And then you just put it in your bowl here. Whoops. Here we go. And then you got a nice little semi-circle. All the toppings that a person can use as they fix their own plate. I have salsa, tomatoes, I have also some veggies, spinach, tomatoes, and a little bit of onion, all in a little scoop, and I'm ready to eat. Mmm. 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 That is the perfect bite. You can make it too. Mmm. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.